Um, but yes, Paradise Kiss is one of the books that I would recommend for adults only. This is not a child's book, okay? This is for mature audiences. Um, it says it could be for teens, uh, but I would advise against it because there is some sexual content in this and a lot of heavy themes that, um, I don't know, teens should probably not be exposed to so early in life, but... Um, as you can see, like, when you open the book, uh, you can see that it opens to the right, right? So this is what a manga is. Uh, it's a book that you open from right, and you read from right to left. So you would actually start here, and then go down, and then read this one first, that one second, and then you'd go over... And continue the pattern of bubbles down the page and uh, from uh, right to left which is kind of interesting how that works so this story in particular is uh, about a girl named um, y Yukari who want, uh, she doesn't really want to stand out she just kind of wants to be in the uh, you know in the background with uh, nothing special about her. She didn't want anything to do with these people. They're kind of weird. Um, yeah. So she finds herself drawn to these people and uh, basically it's a story about these designers who make a line of clothing and they want her to be their model. And she's like, I don't really want to be a model, right? Like she didn't think herself pretty enough to be a model or anything. And they kind of just deck her out and draw her into their little punk world. Uh, it's kind of neat. It's an interesting concept. Uh, I, I liked it because it was a romantic novel um, that had a lot of twists and turns in it in the plot. And you honestly didn't know where that was going to go. And this one I did recommend to people, like straight up, Fruits Basket. Top seller, an amazing book. And you can tell I, I've taken really good care of this copy. Um, so yeah, there's, it's about a family with an ancient curse and a girl named Toru. And she, ha she's an orphan with no place to go. And then, uh, she gets involved with the Soma family and, uh, it, it has a lot of character development in this one. And I, I appreciate the artwork in here. I like the artwork. I mean, you, you can't go wrong with this. It's adorable. Um... It's fun. The thing about Fruits Basket is this. Uh, both Fruits Basket and Paradise Kiss were done by the same company. This one is more of a child's book. They can read this. It doesn't really have any heavy sexual or adult content in it. It's all about kids being kids. Um, I mean, it has innuendos, but I don't, I don't think teens or children will actually <laughs> pick them up. And even if they do, it's all for good comedy. Um, and even the nudity is censored in here, which is great. I appreciate that, actually, in my books. <laughs> it's censored nudity. <laughs> um, and this one's especially cute. It, it's, it definitely does. Uh, Toru is kind of like this little, um, high anxiety girl who freaks out over every little thing. And, you know, she has to come to terms with the death of her mom. And then she has to learn how to be selfish and ask for things which she wasn't normally used to. And meanwhile, the Zodiac characters are particularly interesting. I won't go too deep into it because I don't want spoilers. So, uh, if you guys want to read it, you should go and um, get it. There's only 25 books in this series. I have no idea how much there is in Paradise Kiss. I'm guessing about five, maybe?